Hey guys, Sock here from Sock e Ticket. In today's video, we are going to be talking about the massive new One UI 3.1 update for the Samsung Galaxy S20 series. So I do have a Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra here. This is a US unlocked model. They are getting the updates right now. You may have already gotten yours or you will get it soon within a few days or maybe weeks based on your carrier or your region. Now, if I go to my settings over here and if I go all the way down, tap on the software update and tap on last update, you can see that we have the brand new update. We have all these new features. I'm, I'm gonna cover each one of these features one by one so you know exactly what's happening, exactly what you got updated. And trust me, there is a lot, but I do wanna mention that this update here is 1,400 megabytes in approximation and also includes the March 1st security update. So that's great. Now let's dive in and talk about all the new features. Let me quickly go back here though. Okay, I'm gonna go to my software information uh, right here about phone, software information, and you can see we have 3.1 and Android 11. Okay, tap this a couple times, you get this little guy right here, which is great. Now, I already made a video about all the new features of One UI 3.1 on the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna append the video to this video all the features also apply to the S20 Ultra, so you can learn and watch about every single feature. I'm gonna have a One UI 3.1 Note and a One UI 3.0 Note side by side, so you can see exactly what has been updated in rich detail. All right, so the very first thing I wanna talk about has to do with the camera application. So when I launch the uh, camera application, if I go into my single take option, uh, you will notice at the bottom we have a similar feature. We are uh, we are able to change uh, the duration of the single take to whatever seconds. But with One UI 3.1 on the top, we have a new menu. Now when I tap this, uh, I can actually select and unselect what the single take actually generates when I use it. So if I don't want filtered videos, I just disable that. If I don't want the highlight videos, I just disable that. And I just keep what I want, which makes a lot of sense. One UI 3.0 does not have that option. Okay, so that's uh, one new feature. Now we also have a major improvement to the actual performance of the camera. Now let me launch the camera. Uh, first and foremost, it's gonna be faster, it's gonna be snappier. But if you do go into your photo mode, okay, and if you play with your uh, zooming capabilities, now when I go to 50 times zoom, you will notice that on the top here, uh, we have a little hand icon and it becomes yellow. It actually gives you extra software stabilization so that when you are taking photos that are fully zoomed in to 50 times or even 30 times, let's see if it works at 20. Okay, so it does work at 20 times as well. It's gonna be super stable. So it's, there's gonna be less camera shake and you are gonna be able to take that zoomed in photo uh, with much more ease and it's gonna be actually clearer. As you can see, we don't have the yellow uh, screen on One UI 3.0, okay? This actually stabilizes, software stabilizes your zoomed in shot to make it much better and easier to take. So that is absolutely fantastic. And of course, uh, overall performance and stability also has been enhanced. Uh, for the camera application, it does feel smoother on One UI 3.1. The next thing we have is if I go to my settings over here, okay, let's go to the settings real quick. Uh, let's see, go into the advanced features. You will notice that on the top, we do have a brand new option known, known as continue apps on other devices that we don't have here. Now, this is a brand new app continuity feature I'm gonna be making an in-depth video in regards to this feature very soon. But basically, if you have a Samsung phone and a Samsung tablet, what you can do is, if you start something on these two applications as of now, these are the support applications, if you start something on Samsung Notes or Samsung Internet, you can pick exactly where you left off on your phone automatically on the tablet as soon as you launch any one of these applications on the tablet. So it's a great app continuity feature for productivity. It is an ecosystem benefit. So it's not gonna benefit you in any way if you only have a Samsung phone, but you have a phone and a tablet and a Samsung laptop, 
it's going to be very useful for now for these two applications. So that's number two, okay? Under advanced features, everything else is going to be the same. Now, another thing that we have is if I go back over here, if I go into my display, all right, uh, you scroll down a little bit, you see Eye Comfort Shield. If I tap on it, uh, it's the same thing as we have over here on 3.0, but here it's called Blue Light Filter, and also it looks a little bit different. We do have the adaptive option here, so when I turn this on, it has the adaptive option. It adjusts the blue light uh, to keep your eyes comfortable, or you can tap on custom, and then you can do all these things that you can do right here. Turn on now, turn as scheduled, all right? As you can see, you can create schedule. It looks a little bit different, but mostly they do the same thing, but I do like the adaptive option that simply works by itself by sensing the ambient light in the room. All right, so that's that. Let me just turn that off for now. Uh, that's uh, another one. Let's move on to the next one. Now, another cool feature is known as the object eraser feature. So if I were to go into my gallery right over here, okay, uh, first you want to do is, what you want to do is you want to tap on the edit button, okay, and then you do need to realize that the, the object eraser option is hidden under Galaxy Labs. So you tap on the three dots, you go into the labs, and you make sure object eraser is in fact enabled. Now once you do that, you'll see an option at the bottom here that looks like an eraser. Now when you tap on it, it allows you to erase objects on a photo. So if I tap on this object right here, I can tap on erase. Now that's not something you can do with the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 with One UI 3.0. Now you can see it didn't do a good job here. Uh, normally it does a great job. Maybe there's a little problem with the update. It just got updated. But basically when I tap on one of these objects, I tap on erase, it erases the object and leaves a nice little blurry background that kind of merges with the uh, with the uh, with the background, as you can see. So that was a little bit dirty, no big deal. Let me tap erase again, see what happens. Okay, a little bit better. So you can erase it over and over if you want to until you get a nice and clear shot. But the object eraser is going to be very useful in certain scenarios when you want to remove people from the uh, from a from a photo. So that's another new feature. Now another feature that also has to do with the gallery application. If I were to try to uh, share this photo with somebody and I tap on the share button, what you are gonna notice is a brand new option at the bottom here that says remove location data. So I can check this and as I share the photo with somebody else, it removes the location of that uh, photo, okay? Normally every photo, if you pull it up a little bit, uh, gives you a full location of exactly where that photo was taken, which is not secure. You can send a photo to somebody and they can find your location that easily. But with this new feature, I tap on the share button and I simply remove location data before I share the photo, which is absolutely fantastic. Now with the One UI 3.1, if I tap on share, I'm not going to see that option as you can see. Look at that. And look at that, you cannot remove the location data. You have to do it before you send the photo using a third party application. All so right, so that brings us to the end of this video. As you can see, the S20 Ultra now has One UI 3.1, a bunch of new features. And like I said, this one happens to be a US unlocked model. You may have already gotten the update or you're getting it today or you might get it in a couple of days, but you will get it no problem. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below and let me know for now, guys. Have a fantastic day, all right?